Hey everybody, Last Outrider here with a special what is it video for you. This time, what is a great cleaver of corn? A surprisingly complex question as you will now find out. Great cleavers of corn. The great cleaver of corn is a barbarous chain blade capable of tearing through armored tanks as if they were human heads. Wielded by a lord of skulls, it is a weapon forged out of murder and rage, and it delivers the very same. It takes many vile sacrifices to complete the construction of a great cleaver of corn. The bitter spirits of murderers are forged within the blade and trapped forever within the fabric of its metal. To satisfy the corrupt expectations of a lord of skulls, he may personally select the victims himself. These sacrifices are hand-picked from the most odious characters in the galaxy. Once again, once taken, they are forced to fight in spike-walled pits to, so that the weakest are eliminated. The most... Uh, the use of the most macabre, wretched souls will result in the manufacture of a great cleaver of significant potency. The stronger and more violent the captive, the more humiliating their sacrifice, the more nightmarish the weapon will become. The enormous barbed toothed and skull encrusted weapon is not so much forged as it is birthed by an esoteric, violent, and corrupt ritual conducted by the cabal of warsmiths. Within the sinister and vile citadels of the Dark Mechanicum, the chosen victims are impaled in isolation, but kept from the blissful release of death for eight full days. Then, all the victims are slaughtered, Though it is no merciful act, their bodies are drained of blood and their souls are bound by eldritch chains until the master warpsmith is ready for the final ritual. Ah. When that time comes, these captives, screeching souls, are blended in arcane ways using the eight ruins of undiluted wrath and bathed in the blood of fallen champions. A corrupt molten metal forms in the soul furnaces of corn's endless realm of bone. Skulls taken from the foot of corn's own throne are crammed within the cooling metalwork, and only then can this be hammered into the shape of a great cleaver of corn? A skilled warpsmith will ensure that no tendrils of loathing or hatred are wasted during the process, because such bitter sentiments are an essential part of the fabric of the weapon. Finally, the blade is brought before the brass throne of corn for him to bless with vile utterances. The master warpsmiths who forge the weapon and offers it to corn is its final or first victim. And to die at its touch is considered to be a perverse honor. Boom. That ends part one of what is a great weapon of corn, great cleaver of corn. Until next time, bye.